That's right, no? For Afril Bernardino, she has really proven that her talents are not just for the collegiate level, but also in the international scene. She has been a vital cog and a veteran of the team since 2015. Uh, she has a wealth of experience under her belt, being also an import for Malaysia in 2018. No? And to add to that, she has been a consistent top scorer of the national team, averaging double digits in almost all their games across the different tournaments that they have joined, from SEA Games, Jones Cup, FIBA Asia Cup. So she is really the reliable and go-to scorer of the Gilas Filipinas national women's team. On the other hand, we have uh, we have Janine Ponteos, and as you yeah. as you mentioned, she was the fa- she was the champion in the FIBA TXT World Cup 2018 mixed shootout. But uh, don't be don't just that ta- just don't just think that she is just an outside shooter, but yeah. she's actually a complete package because. She has really developed her game from the outside, so a lot of the teams really close up, close out hard on her, and she has developed her ability to attack the basket. She has developed her mid-range game, making her really a deadly player on and off the court. Even with or without Jack and Yumam, Coach Pat uh, has really stressed for the team to be a running team. They need to be able to, uh, you know, have that fast-paced offense, and their outside shooting must really click, especially when they play in the FIBA Asia Cup, because they are in the Group B. They will be with Australia, China, and Chinese Taipei. Uh, they went up against Chi- uh, they went up against China and Australia in the last FIBA Asia Cup in 2019, and they are really, really tall and. For us to be able to actually have a chance against them, our outside shooting must be really click. And that's the reason yeah. why I mentioned Kate Castillo because uh, she was part of the De La Salle Lady Archers. And the reason why she was actually recruited by Coach Pat to be part of the national team is precisely because of her outside shooting. Yeah. And she definitely delivered because in the FIBA Asia Cup, actually against New Zealand and in against India as well, she really proved that you know, her outside shooting is not just for the collegiate levels, but also in the internationals. Yeah. One of their main reasons why we actually beat India is because she went five out of six from beyond the arc. So, talagang deadly shooter to. Parang Janine Pantejos. Yeah. Then see Castillo. Oh, that's exciting. Top, on the mind, oh, top of my mind would really be Ella Fajardo. Yeah. Uh, she is currently going to be playing uh, for US NCAA Division One team for yeah. the Dickens. And really, her energy yeah. and her talent together with the likes of Camille Clarin, Anne Tingol, and also Kaya Biab, uh, they'll be bringing their energy and talent. And one of the main reasons uh, why Coach Pat really put them in is because they will be the next generation uh, right. for the Les Filipinas team. So it's really great that, uh, you know, just now they're already part of the team because they'll eventually get that experience that they need because they will be the next upcoming players for Gila's group. She's actually the only legitimate center in the lineup. In the past FIBA Asia Cup in 2019 in India, they had the likes of Danica Jose, Jack Animam, and Unique Chan. Actually, for Claire Castle, it will be her first time to play the FIBA Asia Cup yeah. because she was actually playing for FU at that time. So a lot of pressure on her to really stand in the paint and withstand real really tall players against China and Australia specifically. I'm sure that for Coach Pat Aquino, they won't really be expect- expecting much from her offensively, but really more on the defensive end and really manning those rebounds up against those tall giants of China and Australia. Alam niyo, kausap ko nga si uh, one of the veterans of the team, uh, si Andrea Tonko. And she mentioned to me na, grabe, after 1.5 years of not playing basketball, gigil na gigil na talaga sila maglaro. And that's really what they'll be bringing. And really that that love for the game and that finally nakalaro na din sila after 1.5 years. So their passion for the game, their passion for the country, uh, that's what they will bring definitely to the FIBA Asia Cup. And... It will be an uphill battle for them go, coming, going up against Olympic teams such as China and Australia, but they have a good chance against Chinese Taipei. And all we really want is for them to remain in the Division 1 to really yeah. prove that they, they, they can withstand the competition of the different countries in Asia.